Hey guys, it's Ron from Ron's Basement. I've got a lot for you today. We have CPI numbers, and I have three key reasons why we want to consider continuing to hold our precious metals. I mean, if you listen to a lot of people out there, they say, oh, gold and silver, those are barbaric relics. They're not worth anything. You should get rid of them, blah, blah, blah. Buy Bitcoin. Yeah, I was talking to Jorge Ganoza. He's the CEO of a billion dollar company, Fortuna Silver. Had an interview with him yesterday and I posed this question to him. Have you ever seen sentiment so low in the precious metals mining sector? Now he had to think about it for a second, but his answer was yes. He said, you know, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, gold and silver had really fallen out of favor. People were even saying, oh, maybe you'd be better off holding water as opposed to holding gold. And he said that in a joking manner, but the lesson from that response from Jorge is this, sentiment ebbs and flows, goes through cycles like everything else. We can't deny that gold has been valuable for over 6,000 years. Now let's jump over to the CPI numbers. Those came out red hot again this morning. Inflation is raging. The economy is slowing. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole, but that is stagflation. The last time we had stagflation, gold and silver rocketed. No guarantee that's going to happen this time, but boy, the stage has been set for uh, at least solid support for the precious metals. Now, let's move back to reasons why we want to hold on to our gold and silver and not put all our money in Bitcoin. I just think this one's funny, but if you go on to Google Images and type in Bitcoin and do an image search for Bitcoin, the images that come up, the most popular images, are all gold coins. What does that tell you? That tells you that still gold is in people's minds value. They made the image, the uh, uh, the icon, whatever you want to call it for Bitcoin, a gold coin. Go do it for yourself. Go to Google Images, type in Bitcoin. And the final point I want to make, and this one may be a little silly, but I have twin 10-year-old daughters. They play all these little online games. In every one of those games, whatever the, 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 the store of value is or the big reward is that you can get, it's always gold coins. I asked my daughter a couple days ago, if she were to find a treasure chest in the woods, what would she want to find? What would, you know, she opened it, what would be the best thing that could be inside of it? And besides mommy and daddy, of course, what she said was, it'd be full of gold coins. So even our youth, the young kids, understand the value of precious metals, of gold. She told me silver coins would be her second, but I talked to her a lot about silver, so. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm out of the basement today because I'm doing one of those unpleasant tasks. Had a leaking tire on our minivan, so it's getting repaired. I don't even want to think about what that's going to cost, but you know how it goes. I found this nice church entrance where I could talk to you. I appreciate you being here with me today, virtually in the basement. I hope everybody's doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.